Parents still have many questions about what to expect as their kids return to in-person learning in just a matter of weeks. Between masks, vaccinations, and more, parents have a lot on their mind ahead of this school year. TV5's Frank Turner breaks down what you need to know about the CDC's school guidelines. Safely returning to in-person instruction this fall, the priority for the Saginaw County Health Department. The agency recommending sticking with CDC guidelines, adding modifications as needed for particular schools once the year begins. So your school might have to change things, so be flexible and know if a change happens, it's because it is in order to protect your child. Vaccination, the leading prevention strategy, along with cleaning, disinfection, and adequate ventilation. Layers of prevention to keep schools safe. Schools serving children under 12 ineligible for vaccination should especially use layered prevention strategies. No one mitigation strategy is 100 percent, right? The vaccine isn't 100 percent. Mask wearing isn't 100 percent. Hand washing isn't 100 percent. None of them are 100 percent. There's no one fix to combating COVID. We know it's a layered approach. Masks recommended indoors for everyone in school not fully vaccinated, especially in crowded settings when physical distancing of at least three feet can be maintained. Students, teachers, and staff should stay home when showing any signs of infectious illness and refer to their health care provider. This is another year that the, the, the school will not be giving out perfect attendance awards. They really don't want your kid in the school if they're sick. Despite a recent COVID uptick, Michigan still faring relatively well. Overall transmission rates relatively low, but experts say parents should prepare now. This is the time to th start thinking about if my kid is sick, who is going to take care of my kid? You got six to eight weeks to start thinking about this. If your kid is sick, we really need for you to keep that kid home. Frank Turner, WNEM TV5. The health department is also reminding parents to keep tabs on what their district is doing over the coming weeks to be prepared for the start of the year.